Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Broad Market Analysis. Welcome to Trendy Trading. Let's go ahead and get started here uh, with our review for this week coming up. So for the dates, uh, we'll be looking at the third. So tonight for futures, all the way through until the 8th of, that's right, April. I can't believe I'm saying that, 2022. And just as a disclaimer, before we get started, I have the back door open. You might hear some birds and uh, some other things going on. It's just an absolute beautiful morning here uh, in Florida. It's uh, It started out at 59 degrees, which is really cold, maybe 49. I'm trying to remember. But uh, today is supposed to get up to 80. So we're really excited to get out on the water. I woke up especially early uh, to give you guys all these charts. And remember, most of these charts that I'm giving you, they're tradable. We use the neutral strategy on them. But one thing I want you to get out of this entire review is my overall sentiment for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and say that before we even get started. For me, looking at the charts, it feels like we're still in a really tight range. Um, we have support that's right underneath us, and then we created it inside and down right above above us. So really, we're just kind of ping ponging back and forth between those levels. So my sentiment right now, with the skew being as high as it is, and because we are in this range, we need to be patient. So I'm still very bullish because that support is right underneath us, but we need to be patient. We need to see if we can break over that four hour cloud this week. And if we can, then I believe we do continue to, to move up towards the trendy edge, okay? So we're going to go over the SPY, all right, and then we'll look at the Qs, DIA, and IWM, all right? So I'm going to show you the trading view charts first. I'm going to give you the bigger look here on the monthly because I do think that this is probably the most important part, and I say that because if I'm expecting CHOP, then guess what? The bigger picture is our focus. I don't want to get chopped up. So what am I looking at here? On the SPY, nice rounding bottom, okay? Starting to push up. You know, this is a monthly candle. So we're only a couple days into April. So anything can happen here. But what I wanna do is I wanna take some fibs and I wanna make sure that we could stay above that bullish channel. And notice that the 23.6 is holding here at around 451.25. And as long as 451.25 is holding, and even if 444 holds, then this trend is still bullish. You could see here the 38.2 and the 23.6. This is our bull channel, all right? You can also just look up here and this is going to tell you what my sentiment or what the trend is for the time frame that we're looking at, okay? So remember on the daily, it was a bit bearish, okay? But it was choppy. We broke away, we got away from the screens and guess what? You know, I think, yeah, we still closed up green on Friday, which I threw that bet out in the room and I was surprised nobody wanted to bet me you know, like a free month or something like that, right? Um, but I've seen this so many times. When we're in choppy conditions and support is right underneath us, they tend to shake out a lot of traders, uh, break traders down. But if you could just move away, enjoy your day, you're going to find that we really do know how to read the market very well here at Trendy Trading, okay? Let's go ahead and look forward, all right? Let's go ahead and pull up some of this think or swim. Okay, we're gonna pull this up. I'm gonna pull in SPY here and let's get started. So SPY with the neutral strategy, we wanna make sure we're on the right date. You can see I save all of these and uh, there's a ton on here that we can always go back and look how well the strategy works. But um, to make it easy, all right, if you're new here, go over to my YouTube channel. I have a quick uh, introduction into the neutral strategy and how to trade it. Um, that will help you. It's just a few minutes, so please watch that. But you guys can see here, I'm gonna go over the trend. You can see it's bullish. We're going to look at structure. This is going to be the weekly on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, this is your daily, all right? Notice on the weekly, we did continue up. We do have a topping wick. When we see topping wicks, we get a little concerned that the market could continue to pull back, all right? Now, in this case, we're coming off very bullish weeks here. We got a little ahead of ourselves, 
we found some sellers in here. But when I look up into the left, if you notice, now we have three topping wicks and they're pretty much like if I were to draw a line through here, they're all around that same area, all right? Support is right underneath, like I said. So in the event, if we were to gap down, I'd be looking at buying the dip, all right? Support is right underneath us here. So let me give you a couple instances or a couple things that could happen. And I want to show you that if for some reason, really bad news came out and say, we, you know, were to gap down this much, we'd be gapping down into the cloud and we'd be gapping down into some levels, Fibonacci and some demand levels that I found for you guys. I'd be looking at buying the dip. If for some reason we gap up, okay. And we gap up into one of my levels, we want to be cautious remember any line to the upside is resistance and to the downside is support all right so again gap up and or gap down you need to be ready all right i'm not looking to buy puts when we gap down and i'm not looking to buy calls when we gap up i'm looking to be patient all right so these are our targets to the upside you could see those here all right you can also i gave you a link for thinkorswim you can copy these levels into your thinkorswim chart if you can't find them you just right click on here and just go to auto zoom okay and you'll find my levels there now you won't get the trendy edges but you will get the neutral strategy on your chart all right all right so resistance up here support down here again it looks really tight especially when i'm looking over here on the right hand side on the daily um, you can see we have a little bit of support we had some buy signals um, on this range and I would expect buyers to show up here all right now one thing in the back of my head is we have earnings coming up in banks so again could see a little bit of choppiness we might be focusing on some banks this week and see if we can find some buyers there we had a nice pullback last week um, so we'll definitely be focused on like Bank of America JPM Goldman Sachs and so forth okay all right let's go ahead and move on to the queues all right so the Nasdaq all right, so here we are, same look. All right, we're above the cloud. All right, we have that topping wick. Notice to the left, we had topping wicks here before. All right, and you know, we're coming off three up weeks. Now, because of the way this candle looks, it would be very difficult for this week to stay inside. I mean, so you would have to, according to my definitions, this is the body right of last week in order for us to close inside it would have to be inside that body that would be a super tight range okay i'm not saying it can't happen but uh it makes me feel like what's going on here is just we may be painting the top of this wick meaning something like this okay and then we flag here uh maybe into earnings all right, earnings season. So you might get something like this. So not a whole lot of range, but a little bit of, you know, tight, nice little flag here, and then a break. Now it could look like that on the day, right? This could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday we break out. Overall, when we're looking at the queues, I'm looking for this target up here at around 396, as long as the weekly holds above the cloud. All right, that's my sentiment. But here's the thing that makes it very difficult for new traders is you have to understand if we're looking at a weekly, all right, that means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday could look like this. Tuesday could look like this, right? It's moving down. And then by Wednesday, it could look like this. Friday, you know, something like that. So you have to be patient. So in order for me, if I wanted to follow the weekly candles, I have to wait for the weekly close. All right. So what do I want to see at the end of this week on SPY, the queues, etc.? I want to see if we can hold above that cloud. All right. So by Friday, will we be holding above this cloud? All right. Now, to make it easy without getting too biased or worked up on what you think is going to happen. This is why I came up with a neutral strategy uh, several years ago. This just helps me stay on the right side of the trade. All right. You can see the targets to the upside and the targets to the downside. Same thing. Looks really tight. Notice how these EMAs are starting to almost look like they're going to pinch. 
all right that tells me that price action is going to be pretty tight and that we're right at resistance and we're right at support so until one of those areas break we need to stay patient same thing as the spy i am bullish i just think we're going to need to stay patient for a day or two okay let's go ahead and go into dia the diamonds or the dow same thing here folks you can see these emas are getting really tight sideways action we're flagging here right uh, momentum is still red here on thinkorswim right we have not broken over uh you know into a neutral which would be white or green so we're still in red so still a little bit of cautious <clears throat> sorry still a little bit of caution and as i look up and to the left you can see there's an inside and down it's at or around the trendy edge same thing here guys on the weekly as long as we can hold above here i'm looking for this upper blue line which is 359 on the dow over here on the daily you'll notice even on the last two charts that i've shown you we're just kind of hanging right above the cloud just barely right and we had a couple days down and if you remember okay me talking about this cycles we have cycles up and down and sideways and notice that most cycles in a healthy market all right are only two to three days all right two to three days one two three four and then we're sideways for a couple days and here we are up for a couple days down a couple days all right so if everything checks out tomorrow could be or tonight could be possibly a gap down from a red to a green all right we'll see just remember that the cycles last about two to three days so we are on that third day all right we'll see what happens uh tonight as far as futures go don't forget to go over to the futures channel so you guys can see uh, my charts and my write up there i'll be most likely if i'm around tonight i'll be uh trading futures as well right all right so dow jones same thing guys tight sideways a little bit of chop the market's going to you know maybe the dow starts moving uh here into bank earnings coming up soon so again my eyes will be on banks all right doesn't mean i'm going to trade them i'll just be looking for possible setups and obviously i will share those with you okay go ahead and look at iwm now this guy looks a little bit different than the rest right so it's in the cloud all right, it's in the cloud over here on the weekly. Um, but as I said in my write-up, we are working on it inside and up. So as long as we stay above this base candle, this one right here that happened March 21st, then we continue to move up. It's not an easy move. Kind of looks like the rest of them where you're just kind of flagging here. All right, but once we break above the cloud, this could be a really nice look for small cap. All right, so pay attention here. This could be could be the canary in the coal mine, right? Giving us some sort of look before the rest of the market. But IWM might get some sort of flow here, all right? And small cap may have a nice move. These guys are low on the curve, all right? And as long as they're holding this 196, I'm looking at the bigger picture for a move all the way up towards 238. Okay, that's the bigger picture, all right? Again, 196 holds looking for 238 in the future all right timing is the variable that's the longer look over here on the daily same thing we're kind of we're trying to hold the cloud here looks pretty good couple days down the cycle could continue to the upside we have our resistance and you can see that and our support to the downside all right so i just went over those four charts these are very good setups all right again everyone is different so whether you want to buy the week or you want to buy the day or the zero DTEs and so forth, these levels are here to help you. In most cases, it makes the most sense to wait on a level before you trade. Anything in the middle is considered speculation, right? Don't diddle in the middle. So if we just kind of open up in the neutral, I really like that because it gives me the opportunity um, to be patient. Uh, when we open up at levels, um, it's okay. You just need to understand. Again, I just want to reiterate this. If you open up at a top resistance level, you need to be thinking, okay, we're probably going to reject on open. So the futures like to push things up into resistance. And then as we open, they fade. Okay. So I do two things here. 
if we start to fade i want to wait for either 20813 this is just an example for you guys or if we fade a little and we don't get all the way down there and we break back above then i need to see that we're going to hold then i'm going to use this as a stop and then i'm going to trade this to the upside Okay, very straightforward. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. So again, I like when we open up in the neutral. A lot of times in this market though, we are breaking out for some sort of gap, making it a little bit more difficult for some traders. All right, but remember, we're using the pre-market zone. Uh, I'm using my buy and sell signals on smaller time frames. So I feel like I, no matter what the market does, I'm always and feel prepared, all right? One thing before we move on, allocation, as I said in the room, uh, very important for you to understand is small right now for me. All right, um, I'm probably using like one and a half percent of my account at the moment. Matter of fact, our small account, which is labeled risky in here, which is just a cash account, is uh, I have no positions on there, I believe. Let me take one look really quick. And that would be kind of neat. Because I'd be starting from, yeah, I have zero positions in the cash account. That's really exciting for me. All right. So um, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel very, um, very good just starting off. Like just perfect, you know, so very happy. <laughs> and then over in our, my big account, again, that account is looking at like one, one and a half percent allocation right now. So I feel really good is all I'm trying to say. So I hope you guys are ready to make some money this week. I know I am. Uh, and for me, um, I just can't wait to trade. I'm feeling really good about this week. All right. So another thing that we talked about was the SKU. Let's go ahead and bring back trading view. There you go right there. Really quick. Don't forget. So this week I gave you the look on the monthly. Okay. And I gave you notes, please read those. All right, SPY update 4322, price settled near the 618. If price breaks, look for continuation back to the 76.4 near the trendy year edge at 466. Uh, it's kind of interesting. A lot of people are actually using this number out there right now. Um, so that's good, I like that. And then our support for me, bigger picture 444. Bulls need above 454. Okay, we closed at 453 basically. All right, and bears, you need price to drop below the cloud and stay under. Um, so unfortunately, uh, it's not looking that great for you unless uh, we start to close underneath the cloud. All right, really quick, let's look at the cues again. Just want to go over these quick notes with you. I'm going to keep these drawings up here because I think it can really help new traders uh, and for you guys to go back and just kind of get an idea of uh, what was going on uh, as you know kind of like hindsight where do you find the inside and ups and inside and downs and so forth uh, update as far as today price just above the resistance and current candle is inside inside and up happens over 364.40 note we are still in the cloud here um, on the queues for the monthly again this is a monthly picture the bigger picture all right, so check this out. If we go inside and up here, again, this is a monthly. All right, so we're only in the beginning of the month. Anything can happen. But this is starting to look really good for rounding bottom. And you can see that NASDAQ could really push up here, all right, towards, once again, that trendy edge. So that's what I'm looking for. I love this. I want to see if it can go inside and up. Again, that happens over 364.40. It closed at 361.85. Now, note that will be resistance though. It's not always that easy. Just because we hit that 364 and some change doesn't mean we're just gonna explode to the upside. Usually, just like my neutral strategies, those top levels, they're always resistance until they're not. So just be careful, but that is a key number, all right? Go ahead and look at DIA. All right, so the monthly, we came into that inside and up I gave you guys a long time ago. We're starting to move above there. Price is currently an inside and up, but again, currently doesn't mean much. We're only three days into the month. Uh, as long as the cloud holds though, I'm looking for the upper YE. Same thing, this blue line, you can see that. Bulls need to hold above 345, and bears need back below 343. That puts you kind of back in the cloud, all right? IWM, just went over that a few minutes ago. You can see here though, beautiful. I mean, seriously, this is looking like, you know, this right here, this mother candle, if I were to draw a line under that, 
And I'm and, and basically the big picture I keep telling you, as long as we're holding that yearly edge that I'm looking for up here, way in the future. Okay. Uh, and matter of fact, right in this level right here. Okay. That inside and down. All right. That's where we are moving up to. It's just, it's never a fun ride with um, IWM. It's just really not. And the wicks kind of tell the story like, Hey, I'm super excited. We're going to move up. No, we're not. We just kind of close flat. Hey, I'm super excited. No, you're not. We're just going to close in the middle, you know, so you could get something like this again um, <laughs> by the end, or maybe this hammers further up here. But what we really want to see is this continuation of higher lows and this rounding bottom and pushing up towards the 222 area. All right. So price still in the cloud, but currently on inside and up on the month per usual, this is a slow grind up. All right. So this is like for long-term traders. I mean, really, to be honest with you, since I'm sitting here talking about it, we talked about this last year and the year before, uh, and you know, our projection was right, but I, I kind of like IWM if you buy way out of the money with a lot of time, you know, something super inexpensive. Um, I didn't do that this year. This is actually the first year in a long time I haven't done this where I'm buying um, positions far out of the money, you know, for my projections. I have not done that this year. But if I were just as an example, as long as this holds, I'd want to stay long and I'm looking for targets up here at 222 and possibly up towards 238. So I'd be buying out several months, probably even leaps uh, to target those areas. Again, as long as the lower YE holds. And as a hedge, what I could do is I could buy debit spreads, put debit spreads targeting the bottom edge. So again, support around 197. So I could buy the 200s and sell the 195s for a long-term um, hedge. And I could be buying way out of the money towards 222 and up towards 240. All right, just an idea that I have in the back of my head here. All right, let's go ahead and look at the SKU really quick. Um, you guys know that I talk about it all the time. Uh, basically, what's going on here is that we're pushing up into the protection area. But I'm a little jaded from last year because we stayed up here for so long, but the market just kept melting up. So it's a little bit more difficult uh, using the SKU lately. It worked really well for us to get long because it lined up with everything that I was teaching. We were coming into trendy edges. We were creating round and bottoms. We were creating higher lows. And so everything just synergistically came together. Okay, but the, the fear and greed is at neutral. We're still rounding out. Uh, stocks took a big hit over several months. And so there's still a lot of room for us to move. So I don't want to necessarily get, I don't want to stay too small just because the skew is setting up here. Again, I, I fell into that trap uh, last year where we were staying up at these high levels and I kept thinking, hey, we might like really get this big pullback. It never happened and the market just continued to rip. So my allocation wasn't as high as it should have been when I was trading, could have made a lot more money, okay? So that's what I'm looking at on the SKU. Again, it's telling us, wave a little caution, but that's what I love is like these things could be saying caution, but my neutral strategy, strategy says go long. You know, uh, my, my buy signals say go long and everything says stay long. This is just in the back of my mind. Okay. So again, I'm going to follow the day to day. And that's a good point since I'm here is that even though there's a little bit of caution, I still want to be active. I want to be able to trade. All right. So maybe the whole mentality going into this week is, hey, things are tight. And things are intraday until proven otherwise. And you guys have heard me say that so many times, right? There's a lot of chop in the markets. Matter of fact, trend is not very normal. You know, a lot of people think we trend all the time. That's not the case. So a little bit of chop this week, intraday until proven otherwise. Other than that, 
I got your your ES futures. I got the Nasdaq futures up. Please take a look at that. Um, we have some really good plans tonight. I'll be coming back in after futures open, and I'll be looking for some trade plans. So uh, look for those charts to come out later on in uh, tonight's session, maybe early tomorrow. Just kind of depends uh, what sort of open we get. All right. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to trade with you this week. Have a great day.